Okay guys, Brett and I have uh, headed out to uh, Serpentine Dam. I always yep. forget where we are. And uh, on the off chance that we may pick up an Aurora again tonight. So Serpentine Dam is only about an hour south of Perth City, not very far at all. Um, it's probably, looking at it, it's probably not the most ideal location. There's a little bit of a hill to the south of us, but it's not too high. And we thought setting up over the water, we might get a few reflections, but yep. isn't, the dam's not very full. But anyway, it's got a nice little uh, sort of a, what do you call it, a tower, a dam tower or of some sort. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll get Brett to give you a few updates on uh, what we're seeing in the numbers. So today, uh, last few hours, it's been up and down. So it's everything else like hemisphere strength and things are looking good. But BZ is going positive again, and BT has been average. So it's expected we should get some CME hit, but so far the numbers are not looking great. But it takes one good hit, and we may have a good shot. Yeah. So we're seeing over east, there's uh, a few shout outs that people are seeing the Aurora, but <clears throat> it's not particularly strong. So. We were a little bit spoiled on our last trip to Harvey Dam, so our expectations maybe are a, <laughs> a little, a little bit too high now. Uh, we've been been very spoiled, but anyway, got to be in it to win it. So we've wandered down here. It's a Sunday night, so probably don't want to be too late tonight, but we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so we're going to set up and we'll see what we can see once it gets dark. And hopefully something on the shore. Yeah. Okay, guys, we'll speak again soon. Yeah. Hi guys, just a quick update. We've given up on Serpentine Dam. We've decided there was just a bit too much light pollution. There's a mine south of it and it was throwing a lot of light. We're heading back towards Heron Point, Island Point area. But just as we're heading there, the numbers seem to kick off a little bit. So we've pulled over on the side of the road randomly. Uh, in fact, we're just outside of a prison at the moment. You can see the uh, Nice fence line. We've caught a little bit of aurora. It was pretty faint. The numbers were indicating that we would get something, but it's battling against the moon still at the moment. It's about a 25% moon, which is due to set about 11.30. So we've still got a good hour, hour and a half until that sets. But anyway, at least we've seen it tonight. So it's not been a completely dead loss, but uh, certainly nothing to write home about. We'll keep heading back probably towards uh, Heron Point at this stage um, and take it from there. So far, the numbers are just going off the charts, but we're still not seeing anything. So, give, give us a quick update, Brad. What are we? Why aren't the numbers working for us at the moment? Right, just the BZ is just going in the opposite direction, and there's not enough density. But uh, it's going to minus 2,000. At that number, we should be getting beams. So, we're gonna wait and watch, and hopefully next half an hour, there might be some activity, or we're going home. Yeah. yeah so it's uh, what's the time? I think it's about 12:30. Ish, is it? That late yet? Uh, quarter to 12. Quarter, quarter, quarter to 12. Okay, so we're going to give it another half an hour to an hour. Um, and if we don't see anything, we'll probably pull the pin. But yeah, at least, at least we've seen something tonight, but uh, not what we were hoping for with these sorts of numbers. So as the apps continue to set off alerts on our phones, we monitored the numbers. The 
substorm strength was good, being in expansion and below minus a thousand. BZ and BT values were okay, but not ideal. The hemispheric power was well over 50, which was a good sign. So, along with a number of other diehards, we waited in hope on the cold windswept boardwalk and finally, conditions started to align. Okay guys, I think we've just about uh, come to the uh, end of what we can uh, handle standing out here on a uh, windswept jetty at uh, Lake Clifton. Um, it's been worthwhile um, hanging out here. We've ended up uh, getting some, a few little... Uh, Stocks of beams out of it. Yeah, yeah, a few beams and a uh, bit of colour. So yeah, I think... We've, We've got something to show for the the, the night. For the night. <laughs> and throughout the straight night as well, where when we had the most activity, there was no color. There was, uh, when the numbers were not pointing in the right direction, with the beams coming through, so we're not sure why, but it was a strange night. But yeah. it still ended up to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about uh, 1.30 now, and we both have to work in the morning. So uh, we're going to call it quits and uh, head back to Perth. Short drive, about an hour or so to get back. And uh, yeah, if you see this uh, video, then I've decided to put it all together into a, <laughs> into something. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See you guys. Yeah.